Hi Shobhit, thank you so much for taking our time for this interview. May we request you to please share your journey, your story in your own words? Sure, definitely. So I started my GMAT journey in 2020 during COVID. So I thought this is a good time to get started with GMAT. I was thinking of exploring my options of abroad or ISP. So I gave an attempt with a month of prep. I had given CAT, so I had a good aptitude. But with my just uh, random preparation, I could score a 680, which was good, but I had really high hopes. And in the mocks also, I was able to score above 700. So I was a little disappointed. So next time I put the GMAT prep on hold for some time. And last year when I wanted to give it a full-fledged try, I went with Experts Global. All right. So I took the six months course and in the first three months, I wasn't very regular, but in the next three months I catched up on and with uh, some practice from the experts global and the official mocks, I was able to reach 760, which was my dream score. That is amazing. Congratulations on getting your dream score. We are really glad that you were able to achieve that. So in your opinion, what were the main factors that made all the difference? Okay, main factor would be a focused prep. This time I was serious that I really want to do well in the GMAT. Okay. And Expert Global was a great course. I was able to work on my weak areas. I realized in my last attempt that I had done OG questions. I had practiced. I knew what type of questions I tested. But through a lot of sources, I realized that I have to work on my basics to actually do well in all the areas. Right. And my quant was good. My verbal was my weak area. Okay. And to go through each of them, I focused on working on the basics. And for each section, I understood the basics through Express Global course and then okay. with practice improved it further. Okay, that's amazing. So with the benefit of hindsight, what are a few mistakes you believe you committed in the process? So one of the mistakes would be not to track my mistakes which is errors mm -hmm. so initially i was not having an error log i didn't know about an error log so i was going about practicing from some sources from experts global has a track of the things that is good but whenever i was practicing outside that i was not keeping a track of anything okay so later i realized that it is better if you have a track of it so i tried to maintain an error log and that really helped me find my weak areas Okay, that's really nice. I mean, it's inspiring how you actually focused on your weak areas to improve your score. Yes. So what were the main GMAT resources that you used in your prep? And what advice will you give to the future GMAT aspirant? Okay, so a lot of people give different kinds of advices. Some prefer books, some prefer online courses. And I found that books, I am not very comfortable with those. I found Experts Global very intuitive because they had a lot of video-based courses. So I am more engaged when it is video-based content in understanding the concepts. Mm -hmm. Also during mocks, they had video-based solutions to each question. So it was very easy for me while analyzing mocks. So that was great. Okay. But coming to resources, I focused on the Experts Global course mm -hmm. and online uh, few videos by GMAT Club Okay. and some official mocks by GMAT Pro. All right. Okay. So according to you, what should be the frequency of the mock tests and how many mock tests should an aspirant be taking? All right. So in GMAT, I believe you do not need to take too many mock tests. Okay. So... For example, Expert Global has 15 mocks. I only gave five and I gave around five from the official set of mocks. Okay. So that is the max I think you need to give. I had around three months, so I spaced it during that time. Right. Okay. So according to you, what are a few common mistakes that you would suggest all the GMAT aspirants to avoid? One of the common mistakes is not giving mocks. So I would definitely recommend people, even if you have not completed the syllabus, not completed your course, mm -hmm. give mocks because that really helps you understand your weak areas, how you are doing and helps you get familiarized with the test. Right. Absolutely. So uh, what would be your final message to all the viewers watching this video? So I would say if you are planning to give the GMAT, you can... Uh, start with the basics, try to give a mock, 
understand about mm-hmm. the exam okay. and once you have figured out then set a date for yourself one thing which really helped me was setting a date for my gmat and then planning my prep accordingly mm-hmm. you can take any course some people work well with books i felt expert global to be an amazing course i went with that okay and then keep giving mocks i i would say weekly one mock is good enough that would help you set up and keep the mo- momentum going till the exam because you need to be at your peak performance during the exam and give your best right that is so true uh, shobhit is there anything that you would like to add about your journey in the near future i haven't finalized on my colleges and which i will apply as i got my dream score i am looking at exploring different options which colleges i should go for so that is still not decided in the process but for all the gmat aspirants i would like to say that so a lot of my friends have given multiple attempts at this they do not get the dream score i had to give two attempts and also in my first attempt i gave the gmat online in the second it was offline mm-hmm. so i would say try it for yourself which you find better if one form is not working for you for me online i had some technical glitches so it did not work out well for me so i went for the offline version it was a smooth experience and i could give my 100% so i would say those are the few things from my end all right thank you so much shobhit for sharing your gmat preparation experience with us and all the best for your application process sure definitely thank you for taking our time for this interview my pleasure